Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to make note that I am filming this while pet sitting. I am such a multitasker. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this video that you are about to watch. I just wanted to give some backstory of why we felt that we deserved to get revenge. My friend Kyle, in particular, always loved to pull pranks on me. Even the smallest little things, he would just mess with me. I would go to the bathroom and he'd turn off all the lights so I would walk out into pitch black darkness and then he'd, you know, jump up and scare me. He would hide dolls in my bedroom. My mom had a bunch of dolls. She collected them. She also has these two in particular creepy redheaded baby dolls. My mom's a redhead, always wanted redheaded children. Anyway, so she has these two creepy redheaded children and he would put them in my bedroom and he would shut the lights and put knives in their hands and he would put pens in their hands, their little doll hands and would write notes like, I will kill you. And I would walk into my bedroom and I would scream. He thought it was hysterical and my mom also thought it was hysterical. It's pretty messed up. Then uh, when Anthony and I moved out, we ended up renting the bottom half of the house that Kyle owns and Kyle lives above us with our other roommate, Joe, and our other friend used to live there as well. So now when we go on vacations, Kyle has full reign of our apartment and he likes to play pranks. He has brought the dolls into our apartment. They have, uh, oh, we just got back from vacation and they printed out Kyle and my sister actually, I believe, facilitated this one. It's mostly Kyle who's doing these pranks. But they printed out pictures of Anthony. Uh, back in July, the boys, including Ant, decided they were going to shave their beards and just rock mustaches. Let me tell you, it's not a good look and I app absolutely hated it. But they decided it was hysterical and because they knew I, I hated it, they printed out pictures of Anthony with his mustache and put it all over the apartment. They put them in our photo frames, they in the fridge, I mean everywhere. So I did not react, I pretended it did not happen, and I took them all down and put them on their front door. But the prank of all pranks happened two years ago. Anthony and I were on our honeymoon. We were away for six weeks. We finally land in New York. It's after midnight. Anthony's dad picks us up. He has to actually bring us to Anthony's cousin's house to pick up Ant's car because Ant's car had to get a lot of work done while we were away. We decide, you know what, we miss our cats so much. I stopped at my mom's house. We picked up our cats. Oh, oh, and we also had to stop at Walgreens because I didn't get my period the whole honeymoon, so I thought I was pregnant. Just, just keep that in mind. So by the time we get home, it's around 1 a.m., and I walk into the apartment. We let the cats out. They, she, one of our, our one cat runs into the bedroom. Our apartment looks fine. Nothing. Except the bedroom door is slightly closed, and I open it, and it is filled filled with balloons, like up to my boobs. And my cat is lost in the sea of balloons. And all you hear is this little And then, and Anthony wasn't even in the house. He had to go out and get the luggage. And I just lose it. I start cursing. The profanity that came out of my mouth was an all time high. So the only way to get rid of over 1000 balloons is to take a knife and pop it and it sounded like gunshots for two hours. Then when we finished that, there were also balloons in our bathroom, in our tub, filled, I didn't even realize it because the shower curtain was closed, in our pantries, in our closets, everywhere. In fact, I still find balloon shreds to this day, which is just crazy to me. But Kyle didn't do this by himself. He gathered 12 of our friends, including Listen Ingrid. I don't blame you guys. It is an imp you know, very impressive prank, but very frustrating, especially the fact that you get home really late and you think you might be pregnant. Oh my goodness. Turns out I wasn't pregnant, so yay, but still how stressful and you just want to go to sleep. Yeah. So people would say, oh, well, balloons, how fun. I would love to come home to balloons. At least it's a happy prank. Let me tell you something. You do not want to come home to an apartment filled with over 1,000 balloons. B trust me, you do not. Anyway, so since this has happened, Kyle has pulled little pranks when we go away. And now I'm always afraid when I come home that something's going to be in my apartment, but I've learned to not react. Well, finally, Kyle and the boys got, went on vacation, and I finally got to get 
revenge and finally got to pull a prank. So I spoke with the girls and we decided to do what we did. So enjoy the video. I hope you guys, if you ever need to pull pranks, um, maybe I gave you some ideas. If you guys have pulled pranks, I would love to hear them because I'm sure this war is not over. We have vacations planned for next year and I need to keep them coming because if Kyle brings it, I will have to bring it back. I just have to note though that I, part of me felt bad doing this because I knew they got home really late. Actually, they did not arrive until 1.45 in the morning after a 19 hour car drive and I felt bad, a little bit of me felt bad, but then I remembered, no, remember the balloons. And uh, in case you guys were wondering at the end, um, all Kyle said was that he was impressed and well played. Yeah, I bought these gift bags. They're three feet, so we could just oh, perfect. wrap stuff. Alright. This has the duty of writing oh. all things, everything, on post-its. For video. Okay. This is the before. This is my duty. We're gonna wrap everything. <laughs> Payback's the bitch. <laughs> oh, by the way, they don't use AC, so we have about 25 fans going because they. This was the prank that they pulled on Michelle and Aunt. Therefore, this is why we are pranking them. This is the kitchen, all going to be labeled by moi. Here we go. This is the main culprit's room. <laughs> There, as you can tell, another fan. I'm telling them how they have no air conditioning. Yeah, we're gonna be sweating our ass off. But this should be good. I'm excited. You mean they have air conditioning? They oh, I'm sorry. We mean, we mean they have it right there, but, but they do not use it. Nope. All right, I'm going. Go. All right. Um, work boots. <laughs> before we plan to cover. John left his keys here, <laughs> so Ingrid wrapped it all <laughs> up in that duct tape. Hey, that's a bitch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The refrigerator with the bow. As soon as you hear them come tomorrow, just get your phone and just, just get it. I will be like this. Or maybe I'll run out and I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they'll go you have to aunt, leave Aunt a present as well. Oh, you have to, yeah. I'm coming for you, Joe. Yeah, I'm just doing his door. <laughs> Short problems. I know. <laughs> oh, it's so hot in here. Yep. He wants to see Kyle's bathroom. She's <laughs> got so many names. She's like Daenerys. 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 That's way. 
wave his flag. Wave that flag proud. <laughs>